ECA is one of the five regional uh, economic commissions of the United Nations set up in 1958 to promote social and economic development around the world. ECA is in charge of Africa, so they focus on the African continent. One of the three uh, pan-African organizations in Africa, one being the African Union, which deals with peace and security and the political aspect of uh, work, is a non-UN body. And then you have the African <coughs> Development Bank, which deals with the funding of the project, the various projects of, of the continent. Again, it's a non-UN body. And then you have the Economic Commission for Africa, which is the ECA. And as I said, it's a, a task with uh, promoting uh, economic development in Africa. We do this uh, through, number one, um, coming up with policies that support governments in Africa. So we develop policies that uh, are in sync with the, the, the programs and the priorities of the African government. And, uh, and uh, every year we bring, for instance, the ministers of uh, finance and discuss the modalities for development here and map the way forward. Issues like financing for development, issues like illicit financial flows. Uh, example, during uh, the height of the Ebola crisis, uh, we had to intervene, take the lead. As ECA, we made recommendations. The African Union made sure they sent uh, uh, experts to the affected countries. Uh, we were the first as ECA to make a call uh, for debt cancellation in those countries that are affected because it would be crazy to ask them to continue paying tax where, you know, when Ebola was really ravaging the country. So we were the first to do that. And when we did that, then IMF and the World Bank and everybody else started jumping in the queue. That's just an example of the kind of thing that we do. <coughs> but we produce lots of products. Uh, that some products which we produce annually, which is like the economic report on Africa, which gives like, it takes like the body temperature of the economic situation in Africa. Um, my question is to do with the IMF and maybe the World Bank. When it comes to, during the point when they suggested the structural adjustment programs, was there anything that the ECA maybe suggested in a different direction? At the height of the structural adjustment program, we had uh, 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 one of our greatest thinkers, African thinkers, at the uh, executive secretary of ECA, Professor Adedeji. Uh, he was here. And he was the first one to champion African solutions to all these issues. Uh, when they fail like, to give their uh, finance reports or something, do you have measures or how do you recommend them to go about it? What are the strategies? Well, we don't uh, have the authority to punish any government. <laughs> <laughs> If they don't implement. I think most of us would agree that uh, United Africa is a stronger, richer Africa, and the AU is trying to achieve total continental inte integration by 2063. So, as you're uh, offering countries uh, economic advice and policy uh, advice, are you doing it with the with the goal of continental integration in mind, or are you doing it to just help that country's developmental agenda in the short term? So how do you go about convincing or ensuring that these policies are actually passed or implemented? Because if there's no way to reinforce, then it's just suggestions after suggestions and no change comes back. Because most so, African states need support. Now, like they make up many of them, so how do you ensure that there is equality in how you offer them economic support? So, how do you guys operate and support the economy in Africa in the presence of such organization like WTO, which benefit more the West side than the Africa? As you can see, all of us are students here, and we are looking forward to be part of this organization. So what will you really advise us to do so that we will look forward to come and be recruited to this organization? Advise all of us to retire. <laughs> 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 I'm speaking on behalf of uh, this class to give a word of thanks and as well on behalf of the university. I also happen to be the student president back in United States International University and uh, we again we are glad and honored that you're here with us. 
as you mentioned, we will make this annual and, and more groups will come and learn as we have. And uh, thank you so very much for that. Thank you very much. Thank you.